Hey everyone, Pastor Jonathan here. We're continuing the conversation from this past Sunday in our series, Just Do Something. Maybe you remember this verse, Ecclesiastes 12, 14, it says this, for God will bring every deed into judgment with every secret thing, whether good or evil. And maybe you remember hearing that verse this past Sunday and thinking, oh boy, oh boy, that's not good. That's not good news. I can remember um, being as old as 30 years old and thinking, man, if somebody asked me if I'm a Christian, my response uh, would have to be, well, I'm trying to be. You know, I, I'm, I'm doing my best to be. It wasn't until I discovered um, that all of my sins, as, as, it, as it says here, whether it's secret or otherwise, the fact that all of those would be judged and exposed, that's when I really realized, oh boy, you know, I, I need a rescuer. I need somebody better than me. But I was taken aback by that verse again this Sunday. And at least for me, there's a couple things at war uh, inside of me. One is that most of my life, I've lived under the premise that you have to do stuff to make God happy, right? Maybe you're familiar with that idea. Now, in the background of that, we've got this knowledge that even the best stuff that we do, God counts as filth. So there's a problem there. We have to do stuff to make him happy, but even the best stuff we do doesn't really count for anything as far as he's concerned. So how is that reconciled? Well, it's the knowledge that it's Jesus's goodness, it's Christ's goodness that is applied to me. And so when God looks at me, what he actually sees is his son. Well, for the non-believer, um, those last words in Ecclesiastes serve as sort of a final warning, especially uh, with an emphasis on the words every and secret, right? Every sin, even the secret ones, everything we do, all that stuff gets judged. But for the Christian, this verse should actually serve as a reminder that Jesus is going to sort of balance the scales of justice on that last day, and he'll actually vindicate those uh, who have already been declared righteous by him. Yes, we are going to be judged for what we do, but it won't be counted towards whether or not we'll experience eternity uh, forever with Christ, but it will have to do with our eternal reward in heaven. And I hope that that's a clear uh, distinction and very much a reminder that the pressure is off. We don't uh, perform for God. Jesus's um, performance, of course, applies to us. So now instead, uh, we respond to that gift by living lives that please and fear God, as it's stated in Ecclesiastes. If you'd like to learn more, shoot on over to northcentral.org. You can click on resources there, and you'll find some great stuff that will help deepen um, your faith. Uh, it'll help uh, continue the conversation. Another great way to do that is to join a continuing the conversation small group for a deeper dive into how we'll sort of apply these truths that we're learning on Sundays. I hope that's helpful. See you soon.